Thank you. So in a real in a real world situation that you're talking about, I think it's imperative that anybody is going out to perform a search and rescue or a combat search and rescue in any facet that there's somebody's life on the line and to me there's nothing more important than everybody being on point um, so if we train to that level um, we want these guys to train to that level as well and they are and they uh, we hope to be able to integrate with them in the future Combat Search and Rescue is a, it's a group effort, so it's very important that we show how our partner nations, how we do it, and we learn from them how they are doing it as well so that we can integrate. This was an incredible experience getting to work with, I mean the Super Pumas getting to work with our Albanian partners. We have learned to mission plan better from them. I hope they've learned from us a little bit maybe, but how to work radios, which is a big thing in this community, and how to integrate our airframes with theirs. One, uh, you fly with yeah, actually myself I have a lot of experience working with, uh, <coughs> with partners. Uh, during this uh, exercise we are much more experienced now with uh, air taxi orders, daily flight plans and with the uh, air traffic control controllers, they did a lot of job. Uh, they they are not they are now more familiar with the uh, uh, Farca Air Base procedures. Learning how to operate shoulder to shoulder to our NATO partners and other coalition forces, and and be able to um, just integrate and be able to complete the mission successfully and efficiently.